So you thought, hey, finger spelling practice, huh? That sounds mighty interesting. Well, in this video, I'm gonna finger spell 10 words for you. You're gonna get two types of finger spelling practice, receptive and expressive, coming up. It's Rochelle, helping you to build, strengthen, and explode your ASL skills. On this channel, I teach you new science, help you to practice as well, share tips and tricks like this video. Well, this video is actually fingerspelling practice, but this is what I do. It's fingerspelling Friday. I can be crazy. It's allowed. It's in the rules. It's in the bylines. Check it out. Remember, before you take off, I've got the free fingerspelling practice sheet down below. Check it out. You can get it and you get access to all the previous fingerspelling practice sheets as well as any future fingerspelling practice sheets. And there will be some every Friday until I say, I don't know, have any more words to fingerspell. And that's going to be a long ways from now. So for, for a long time. Here's how this works. I'm going to fingerspell 10 words three times each. Normal rate, slow rate, normal rate. What are the rules for you, I'm sure you can quote them by now. Number one, do not say the letter names, sound them out. Go k at, not c a t, k at. You'll thank me later if you do that. Number two, look for the shape of the words as a whole. Look the word as a whole, look at it as a whole, just like you do when you're reading. If you want to know what in the world I'm talking about, down in the description box below, and I'll put a link up here, you can check out ASL Foundations that really explains all of this to you in depth. But for today, let's skip right to our practice. The theme of these words are street names. Now, actually, I'm going to try something a little different today than I have in the past. You are going to see the letters of spelling the word, the English letter spelling the word flash on the screen before you're going to see me finger spelling it. And this is a really great method for practicing receptive finger spelling and I want to try it out on you. At the end of this video, I really want you to do me a favor. Go down to the comments below and let me know how much this helped you. I know it helped me in the past when I was working on my finger spelling receptive skills and I want to see how you like it. And if you like it, I'm going to do it in the next couple videos that I'm going to be filming right after this one. So if you like it, let me know so that I can add it into the next videos as well. All right. The theme, like I said, is street names. These, I just pulled this from a list of the most common street names in the U.S. So there you go. All right, no more jibba jabba.
and we're done. Question of the day. Let me know how you like the letters flashing on the screen before you saw it fingerspelled. I know it helped me, but I want to make sure that it's helping you before I continue to do it in all the rest of the videos. So let me know down in the comments down below. Thank you so much for taking time and practicing fingerspelling with me. Remember before you take off to get the fingerspelling practice sheet because this was just receptive. Remember you need to do both receptive and expressive. So be sure to grab the sheet. You can check your answers. Make sure you got all the words right as well as have a list in your pocket to carry around town so you can practice fingerspelling. This is ASL Rochelle helping you to become a signing ninja. Bye! <laughs> Alright, this is ASL. Welcome to Fingerspell Friday! No, don't sing that. <laughs> Shoot. What the hell was that? I can't stay. That's all I want to do. I can't think of anything else but say it. Ha <laughs>